The Olympic logo is a Freemason and Pharaonic symbol, where the rings symbolize them holding together against us as in a chain of command. Or one for all and all for one. As the Templars said, Unus pro omnibus, omnus, omnes pro uno, meaning one for all and all for one, showing at the ceiling of the Swiss Templars Parliament, with the Templars flag in a simplified way in the same colours in the middle. Watch the Pharaoh show from Gui, which explains more. G I U R E H. And out of the Templars came the Freemasons. The Vesica is a Pharaonic word, meaning to be alone, place, soul. Ve, si, ka. We further on find the Vesica in the Gucci logo, showing the um, Freemason G two times in negative and in positive. What is up is down, and what's down is up. Swiss Cope Supermarkets MasterCard with exactly the same colors as the Swiss supermarket chain. Or the, the, the Illuminati car from Ingolstadt in Germany where Adam Weishaupt came from and uh, many many others. So do know who the gods really are for whom you're going to run in circles. Alright guys, welcome back. we got another uh, caller on the line here. Uh, welcome to the show, caller on the air. Yeah, is this me? Yeah, you're there. Yeah, thanks Charlie. It's uh, Martin here calling from England. Just got a uh, little bit of information. Sure. What you got? Yeah. Yeah, just uh, in response to the whole Zion thing, um, the 2012 Olympics, as you're aware, with the whole Zion thing. Right. Um, actually, I found out some more information um, a couple of days ago. I've been meaning to share it with you, but I only actually get Tuesdays off work, so I can't call in any other day. Now, um, the 30th Olympic Games, as you know, um, which is XXX in Roman numerals, Right. Um, is actually the opening ceremony to the Olympics is actually being held on the 27th of July, which is also the day um, of the celebration of Tisha B'Av. Is that Always how you a Jewish it? holiday, yeah. Exactly, yeah, with the commemoration of the uh, destruction of the temples in Jerusalem. Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Wednesday, May 16th, 2012, and I'm Darko. My website is ggnonline.com and ddarko2013 and 2012 are my YouTube channels. Check out the headlines and the links that will be posted in YouTube's video description. And I'm ready to go. So this is going to be mostly about the Olympics and maybe a little surveillance Big Brother state. Okay, so most of us are aware that the Olympics is coming up. Could be a lot of stuff uh, cracking during that period of time. Uh, we can see all kinds of crazy stuff, uh, you know, even possible alien invasions or asteroids or some kind of outside threat, you know, or maybe just another old-fashioned terrorist attack. But the people that carry out the terrorist attacks just recently said, what? Well, there's not going to be another 9-11 scale attack. I think even Barack Obama said that to Wolf Blitzer uh, like a year ago. So they don't plan another 9-11 type blood sacrifice. Uh, they, they plan a more smaller scale one, uh, like the patsies, usually the ones where they, uh, they catch themselves in some kind of sting operation and then say, see, that's why we got to have all of your rights suspended and have, uh, you know, 18-month-year-olds uh, at the airport getting groped and shutting down airports uh, over phony threats like a disabled uh, elderly man in his wheelchair. But whether there's a real threat or not, our masters um, 
are going to they're, they're going to prepare us for when it as if it's going to happen. So, I'll go through some news you've probably seen already and then maybe some that you haven't, but this is stuff that's been uh, for me I've been kind of just putting it off to the side, letting it stack up. Metropolitan Police Stockpiling Plastic Bullets from May 3rd, 2012. Police began stockpiling plastic bullets responsible for fatalities in Northern Ireland after the London riots. It says here that uh, by December 2011, the number had jumped more than 14 times to more than 10,000, if Freedom of Information request shows. It says here that baton or baton rounds have never been used to quell disorder on the mainland of UK, but an ex-metropolitan police commander told the BBC the huge rise suggests a change of policy on weapons and an increased willingness to use them. <laughs> an increased willingness. Wow, dude. So they just come right out and said, get ready, right? And maybe they're learning from their uh, comrades over the, po over the pond here in the United States. Um, they don't need any encouragement to uh, to be tasing people or using their little toys that they have. Olympics Britain to deploy sonic gun at Olympics. It says high-powered loudspeaker uh, that's going to bark orders uh, basically to capitulate. Resistance is futile. It's going to be used against oh, pirates and protesters. I love how they sum them up. It's kind of like the anarchist and the communist. Yeah, they were anarchist and, uh, yeah, you know, the communist and... It's just, it's funny how they link these, uh, uh, these groups together, right? Uh, you know, the, the Knights, we were just talking about the Knights Templar. Uh, what, what happened? Uh, well, they disbanded, and they, that's what Friday the 13th is about. And what? They, uh, they had their own fleet of ships, and they then flew a different flag. The pirate flag, the skull and bones flag. But, uh, yeah, we're going to say, oh, the little old Somali uh, pirates uh, who have been conquered by the British, um, who actually who have never been conquered before, have to result to such things such as piracy because they have no economy, they have no resources because, well, they've been taken over. But, you know, that's not really the point here. The point here is, is that what? It says Britain is preparing for the biggest peacetime security operation. Now, this almost makes me wonder... I just thought about it now. I, I mean, I've thought about it before, but never like this before. Is that this whole Olympics being in London is for, in, or is in preparation for the collapse of the euro? You notice how this is happening right on cue, right? So this whole thing has nothing to do with the Olympics, and then preparing for a quote biological attack or a EMP or a virus. Uh, this is part of the uh, this is part of the plan. So. Uh, and these things, of course, deafen people, right? So they're not non-lethal. And I just found another article to kind of tie into what I'm saying because I don't mean to go on these little side, uh, side uh, track, you know, side tracks, basically talking about uh, the pirates and legitimizing what they're doing. But it's a reaction. It's a reaction to the actions that are being taken by the social engineers, um, the Illuminati, the New World Order, as some people call them. And that is what? Uh, we covered this in the last video, which is nationalism is dead. Well, at least they're trying to kill it. So I'm all for, like, a stateless society. I prefer, like, people just live in little communities and they just form whatever. Uh, you know, there is no real law, a political law or maybe common law that people can form little tribes or little communes as long as they're not encroaching on the other. But if you're going to have nationalism, right, uh, then have it but now see we got to they're demonizing what they've helped create which is nationalism and now they're going to internationalism and now they're done with those that are proud of their heritage or want to have their sovereignty so this right here is a big thing in Europe and this is another reason for why they are preparing for quote peace to peacetime security operations like in Scandinavia you know you have this which is skinheads or are Nazis basically in Europe and the US and even Russia some parts so apparently apparently there's gonna be an, an electric fence for the Olympics an 11 mile 5,000 volt electric fence surrounding the Olympic site costs around 80 million dollars so like they can't afford for your pensions or you're gonna cut you off for your, for your health care and stuff like that they're gonna be able to uh, fund this militarization of your police actually whatever ones are left because now they're getting rid of the police and now the police are protesting so they've been deemed terrorists 
So you can see where all of this is going. So of course, all you have to do is buy the ticket and you don't have to jump the fence. Well, I don't even know why you'd want to have to jump a fence to get into that thing. I'd stay the hell away from there, just like Chicago at the NATO summit. But tenants living near the Olympic site facing last minute evictions, kind of like the NATO summit, uh, with Chicago, the red zone, as landlords cash in on the game. So tenants living in the East Line are facing eviction from their homes with a hardy or hardly any notice by landlords wanting uh, to cash in Olympics. So basically what this story is saying is that um, housing and homeless charity shelters have seen numerous cases of families being forced to seek last minute accommodations after being evicted by their landlords so that what uh, the landlords want to instead use their properties for short term leases or lets at inflated rental prices during the London games. And uh, the crazy thing is that they're gonna evict these tenants uh, for these Olympic visitors without any guarantees that there will be any uh, So besides the electric fences and that and kicking people uh, out of these properties it says here London 2012 missiles may be placed at residential flats The defense ministry is considering placing surface-to-air missiles on residential flats during the Olympics So it goes on and when it talks about one of these leaflets it states that um, the military will have a major national exercise from the 2nd to 10th of May to test the armed forces' capabilities for providing security at the Olympics. It's added that the government, if it decides to use the missiles during the games, the soldiers could be operationally deployed for a period up to two months this summer. Remember, peaceful uh, operation. And they're going to have SAS squads based in Riverside bunkers for the London Olympics as well to combat terrorist threats. Speaking of terrorism, London 2012 terror drill at the Disgust tube station. So it says here, stunned passengers staggered from the underground today in an eerie reminder of the false flag bombings of, what, 7-7 uh, in a security drill from the London 2012 games to deal with the would-be casualties in the, the mocked-up terror attack on the transport network. Speaking of terrorists, 18-month-old baby pulled from flight, parents interviewed by TSA. So it says here, parents of an 18-month-old girl say they were humiliated after being pulled off a plane and told their young child had been placed on a no-fly list. Now this is something I'd like to see. The family decided to leave the airport rather than return to the flight. They're lucky they were even able to get out of there, usually because once you go past the point of no return, bam, you're getting tackled, tased, and thrown in, hogtied, and thrown in, uh, in uh, basically in a, some kind of torture camp, right? So, you, you know, <laughs> that's the thing. I always hear about these people that try to leave, and then they end up uh, getting arrested. But we know who the real terrorists are. UK terrorists attack in Birmingham the evening of the 6th of May 2012. Unidentified terrorists were observed dumping chemicals from high altitudes over an urban area south of Birmingham. Said the planes were employed are yet to be identified. Thus far, there's been no reports of casualties. Due so we're talking about not having a usual terrorist attack. We're talking about what? A holographic uh, stage alien invasion. Well, we saw the thing with Tupac Shakur, the hologram, Project Blue Beam, right? And that was what? That was setting off enthusiasm for holograms in a way we've never seen before. Well, that was the point, to program, to imprint, uh, have predictive programming going in the minds of the slave. And the goal is to have them in fear so that they can be open to receive this programming, whatever it may be. But they don't want to scare them too much. they got to let them in. Uh, let them know subconsciously what's going to possibly be happening. But uh, the whole thing about this Project Blue Beam or the stage alien invasion of the second coming of Christ is that they're going to use it to unite the planet against a foreign outside threat, possibly aliens, then the uh, little deity or the Christ-like figure, kind of like uh, Tupac was, to certain groups. Well, what? We'll say, oh, this is good. You know, these are this is these are uh, our true masters, and this one world government is going to be good. This one world religion. And if you remember me mentioning about uh, programs that they're putting on, like the History Channel, and that about alien viruses. Just check this out. Unmanned poison drones are the latest threat to the this summer's Olympic Games. So this verifies what I'm saying about fear. In the meeting, meant to calm residents. Uh, fear about hosting missiles on the rooftops during the Olympic Games, the lieutenant of the police station told it's possible that drones laden with biological weapons may be used in an attack during the upcoming game. And the climate in Northwest Europe is ripe for the Asian mosquito to spread. Could so the CDC is warning U.S. travelers to the Olympic Games, they may bring home measles to get their shots, so even the athletes of the Olympics are being told to get their shot. While the governments purchase huge amounts of vaccines to counter a possibility of an anthrax attack. And again, how timely, the bird flu 
uh, formula papers have been published. And even though most people can't even afford to go, the minister says there's no specific terror threat. Thank you.